अरे सबर कर मैं अभी तैयार नहीं हूँ यार मेरे को भूख लगी है कितना टाइम लगेगा कल आना कल मस्त नहा दो के आना जरूर ओए ओए मैं रेडी हूँ अरे फाइनली अच्छा अभी तो जल्दी है शाम को आगे खाऊंगा तुझे ठीक है लेटर दैट सेम इवनिंग अब यार यार मेरे से ज्यादा केले तो मेरा डस्टबिन खा जाता है In this video we will discuss some of the intelligent and practical ways of storing different food items in the kitchen so that they can stay naturally fresh and flavorful for longer. If you have a small fridge or you find organizing your fridge problematic, this video shall be helpful. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Surprisingly, there are some food items that need not be kept in the fridge. This one can be a game changer not only for someone who has a small fridge, but also if you wish to get the flavor back into your food. First are the spices. How often do we open a packet of the spice and toss it in the refrigerator? The number one enemy of spices is humidity which not only changes their texture but also robs their flavor. Spices are not meant to be kept in the fridge. They will serve you the best if kept in the cupboard in an airtight container where the environment is dark and dry. Airtight is important if you want them to stay fresh for at least 6 months. Pickles and sauces since they have natural preservatives in them remain the most flavorful when kept out of the fridge then many of us tend to keep nuts and seeds in the fridge it's unnecessary air is the number one enemy of any dry fruits shelf life the solution is to keep them in air tight containers where they will easily serve you for a year If you tend to store the nuts in non-air tight containers in the fridge or elsewhere, you are asking for their overall texture and flavor to be ruined. Oils like that of mustard, sesame, coconut, peanut and even ghee need not be kept in the fridge. They are better kept in a dark and dry place. Oils being reactive stay best when kept in glass bottles or containers rather than in plastic or metal containers. In fact, Ayurvedic scripture suggests that ghee if proper properly stored in air tight glass ceramic or mud containers gets more medicinal with time then potatoes onions and garlic which are on top of the grocery list of most people prefer room temperature cold temperature breaks down the starches in potatoes making them unpleasantly sweet The humidity of the refrigerator makes onions moldy and mushy. Garlic can't stand cold temperatures either. To retain their powerful flavor, keep them in a well-ventilated place outside the fridge. Citrus fruits like lemons and oranges remain fresh and juicy for longer if kept outside the fridge. In fact, ask your grandmother and she will tell you that keeping the lemons wrapped in newspaper or any paper bag helps preserve them for longer. She would also strictly suggest you to keep ginger out of the fridge. That's the place it gets moldy. Outside with time ginger might get dry but doesn't lose its flavor and medicinal properties. Melons like watermelon and muskmelon are also pretty sturdy and can easily remain fresh for a long time without refrigeration. Of course they taste best when a bit cool. So you can keep them in the fridge one hour before eating. or opt for the old ways where they used to be soaked in water before eating even mangoes are recommended to be soaked in water before hopping on cucumbers rot faster in the cold it's better to keep them out egg plants can't stand cold either causing them to become soft very quickly Keeping bread in the fridge is also not the best idea because at lower temperatures water evaporates significantly faster and so the bread will become dry and brittle. Bread is best kept in a firmly closed box or simply tie it tightly with a rubber band. Now let's talk about the food items which are better kept in the fridge. Most of us keep milk and milk products at the side door of the fridge, but this isn't a great place to store them. As the door gets frequently opened, it is prone to temperature fluctuations which are not ideal for the shelf life of milk and milk products like butter, curd and paneer. They stay the best if kept on the back side of the fridge shelf which is relatively cooler. The leafy greens will also serve you for longer if kept in the 
fridge. However, they rot faster in humid conditions of the fridge. So to increase their shelf life, roughly cut their stems off and store them either in paper bags or keep them in an airtight container with tissue paper. Cutting the stems slows their aging and tissue paper helps them stay dry. Similarly, to keep chilies fresh for longer, remove their buds, wrap them in tissue paper and store them in an airtight container. Talking about tomatoes, if they are not fully ripened, which means that they are still yellowish, they are better kept outside the fridge. However, if they are completely red and juicy, to prolong their shelf life, refrigeration is better. Generally speaking, other vegetables like the god family, capsicum, cauliflower, carrots, cabbage and beetroot will remain fresher for longer when refrigerated. There are some foods that seek your special attention. Bananas are one of them. They naturally emit a high amount of ethylene gas which is why if any other fruit or vegetable is kept alongside it, it ripens faster. So as a thumb rule, keep bananas separate. Bananas ripen the fastest if not kept open. Bananas will serve you for longer if hanged. Investing in a banana hanger is a wise decision. Apples are another example of high ethylene emitting food. Keep them separate outside the fridge. One should be careful with mushrooms. If washed and placed on the counter, they will rot faster. It's best that they stay in their plastic packaging in the fridge and be washed with hot water only before cooking. On the flip side, carrots will remain crispier for longer if stored in water. Then there are certain food items that love darkness. Apart from the already discussed foods like oils, potatoes, onions and garlic, tea, coffee and honey have an aversion to light. All these begin to lose their flavor and medicinal properties when exposed to light. Tea, coffee and honey also tend to absorb flavors from the environment. So they are best kept in airtight containers in the kitchen cupboards. Honey is quite reactive, so it will stay the best if stored in a glass jar. Opaque containers are better for tea and coffee. Now before we wrap up, let's quickly run through a few golden rules of food storage. Foremost, it is recommended to avoid low-grade plastic poly bags for food storage as they don't let the ethylene gas to escape, rotting the food faster. Investing in breathable cotton or jute mesh bags will naturally enhance the shelf life of most fruits and vegetables. Second, don't over-depend on the fridge. It's a facility that comes at a cost. So buy fresh whenever possible. So these were some of the easy and practical ways to keep your food fresher for longer. Of course, the above points are more relevant in the hot weather as one can strive to completely avoid the fridge in the winter season. For your convenience, I have also attached a PDF of the same which you can download and stick somewhere in the kitchen. If this video was helpful, then please do give it a big thumbs up. Looking for a genuine aloe vera gel in the market? Check out Wow Skin Science Aloe Vera Multipurpose Beauty Gel for skin and hair. Turn the pack and check its ingredients and you will find that it has aloe vera juice, xanthan gum which is a plant-based natural thickener, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate and citric acid serving as safe preservatives. Wow's this aloe vera gel can be used as sunburn soother, heel saver, hair softener, scalp nourisher, aftershave and is suitable for all skin and hair types. If you have an oily skin, this can be used as a face moisturizer as well. To buy WOW's toxin-free multi-purpose aloe vera gel, click on the link down in the description box. Do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get 20% off on your order. So friends, that's all for this video. You can now support my work by clicking on the join button below. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. You can also follow me on Instagram. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.